Now this is a great example of the difference between a rear mounted power assist and a front mounted power assist. Let's go check it out. Now first thing we want to do is learn how to push a wheelchair. So we're having a little bit of fun doing some turns here, but you see a bit of an arc push going on over here. But then I prompt him to do a semi-circular push, which is more what you want to do when you push it. And then we go whoop outside up the hill, which is a pretty standard gradient. And as you can see, he's doing an arc push, which is pretty common for when people go uphill. But now we're using a smart drive, which is a little motor that sits in the back, which basically just pushes you up the hill, but then the wheelchair user still needs to steer. So by holding the left wheel over here, we get a steer going on there. So the motor does all the heavy lifting, and then the user just needs to point it in the right direction. Easy. And then before we trial the next power assist, we notice a little bit of a hip obliquity, which you can see here, and then the shoulders dip down. So what we did in the next cushion is lift the cushion up on his right side, and that balances his shoulders out, which is what you see here. And now we jump into the Baytech Mini, which lifts those tiny little front casters off the ground, which is amazing because then you can go down gutters like this, and it's a lot more comfortable on longer distances. You can even go on grass, as you see, this is what's going on over here. And I always recommend big fat doughy tires whenever you go on a front mounted power assist. Because you're going faster, it's gonna reduce your likelihood of getting punctures, and it's a much more comfortable ride. And over here, I wanna demonstrate what happens if you don't pop a wheelie when you're trying to get over curves. Those tiny front casters, they get stuck and they can knock you out of your chair. So if you go on something like a smart drive, you still need to have wheelchair skills like popping wheelies to get those tiny casters over those thresholds, which isn't the case for the front wheel because it just rolls right over it. And we wanted to go rigid frame wheelchair, so we wanted to check them fits in the back of the seat. And we also wanted to check if this particular power assist would fit in the boot. Not as light as a smart drive, it weighs about 14 kilos without the battery, but it is nice and compact, so you can pick it up nicely, throw it in the boot, and away you go. Now how front wheels mount to the chair is different across all the brands, so it's one thing you really want to check to make sure that the client can do independently. In this case we can, so we've got a great outcome.